Hey there, this is Scotia, back with a, another swatch video for your swatch pleasure. Um, this time I'm going over um, a couple of watches that are not actually new. This one's from, ooh, two seasons ago, I think. Ooh, three seasons when they re came out with the pop swatches. And this is one of the older pop swatches. So let's get right into it. Little comparison here. The faces are actually the same size. They, they look really, really nice together, pretty complimentary. Um, there are a few key differences, um, mainly that the, the new swatches are not retro backwards compatible. So you can't switch out the faces from the old ones to the new ones. Um, so, you know, if you've got uh, bands that go with your old pop swatches, you'll just have to stick with those. Okay, so going over, we'll start with the old one, I guess. This one's got kind of a unique band. It's this elastic, like, sweatband feel, and it gets a little wily sometimes. So, there it is, retro pop swatch. Actually in pretty darn awesome shape. This one I... It's, I've actually, it's actually one of my newer ones, despite being pretty old. I found this one at a, an antique store, so there you go. Okay, so with the old style pop swatches, you have this C-shaped piece of plastic, and it's got um, this little kind of belt buckle situation in the back. So you can slip through the different straps and adjust them. Yeah, adjusty, adjusty. Um, and then the Oh, one of the big differences is the old, the original pop swatches have the adjusting dial thing at the top. And you just push them straight out. Underneath the band here, it's hollow, so you can just push and that pops right out. And there's your, your little swatch face. Um, the idea being that you could clip it onto things. There, there were like the little clip ones or the little keychain ones and lots of different pop um, bands. All right. So put that one back. Oh, also kind of cool, you can see the ridge. So that's how they would stay in place and how they still do stay in place. All right, not dropping it, putting it back in its spot. Um, so the new pop swatch is very different as far as the mechanism of how it works. This is the pop uh, self-referential pop swatch because it says pop. If you weren't into the really graphic letters, you could actually switch this band around, but I've always had it with the pop because I think it's adorable. All right, this does not have like a C-shaped clip that you would pop the face into. It's a bit harder. Um, when I first got it, it drove me crazy because it's really difficult to, to pop it out. Um, if you notice, you can twist it and it's an oblong cutout here. And it helps when you twist it like this, it raises the edge and so it kind of puts a little gap here. If you've got really good nails, you just lift it up and pinch here. This is why I don't like the new ones quite as much. Um, well, I love the watches themselves, but the mechanism is a little bit trickier because I feel like I'm going to break it, but you won't. Um, back piece is actually part of the watch face, so you don't have that um, circular watch face like the old school pop swatches like so everything's kind of contained here and then the clip stays on the band this one the face and the clip um, have to go together you could do the different colors um, and then here's the band all right oh it's kind of interesting with the new bands it's not just the silicone there's a rigid plastic piece within here so even though it feels like it's going to tear and deflect a bit, it seems to be fine. I've had this one a couple years and it's, it's done great. Uh, oh, big difference is the, the crown. That's what this turny, twisty thing is. It goes on the side now versus the top. This is more of a stopwatch kind of feel. Although, you know what, stopwatches also have the side ones. I don't know, this is just the original kind. And then the new one with the side a little bit closer to the the crowns the way they are now gives it like a little jaunty hat to the side um i'm gonna put this one back where it belongs full pop face line it up and these ones they really just are a little bit trickier to do and let's see if i can do this get a little click 
and Pops Watch for Days. All right, I'm going to put this one back on. Um, this video wasn't really showcasing any of the new ones. This one's new-ish, I suppose. But it does give you a little bit of a reference for what the pop swatches look like together. And I think they look great wearing a couple of different styles. Oh, this one, it's a little bit of a goober. It likes to I have to wrangle it a little bit to get on. Um, so, you know, it's, it takes a little bit of time, not quite as fast as the, the regular buckles. But ooh, yeah, we'll pretend that looks great. Beautiful. Okay. Um, if you want to see more swatch videos, let me know what you would like to see, what uh, types of swatches, because I have, I have a couple of them. I've got more than a few, not a few hundred, at least a couple hundred that I've counted. Um, so we can go over that. You can tell me, show me, can't really show me, tell me your favorite pop swatch that you've got. You can like this stuff, you can subscribe to it, and then you'll know when my silly face is going to be making more videos about swatches and what is that like subscribe ah. all right and hopefully i will hear from you soon